Texas, and welcome to Minnesota and Oregon's How the States Got Their Voices, Part 7. This one's about me, Texas. Yeehaw! He wonder why I got my voice? Because that's how Texans and Cowboys talk down here. We like to say yeehaw and yahoo and giddy up. And we got some pretty cool stuff. Whoa, look at this. Hey, I'm kind of, I can't see. So, we got a pretty cool landmark called the Alamo. A pretty big battle happened at the Alamo in 1836 as a pivotal event in the Texas Revolution. Following a 13 day siege, Mexican troops under President General Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana reclaimed Alamo mission, killing a whole bunch of Texans. Their cruelty during that battle inspired many of the Texans to join the Texas and Tejanos to join the Texan army. The Texans defeated the Mexican army at the Battle of San Jacinto on April 21st, 1836, ending the rebellion in favor of the newly formed Republic of Texas. That's how we got to be called Texas because we lost Alamo and the Alamo is right by ooh, ooh. The Alamo's right by the modern-day San Antonio. There it is. Also near the capital. And very close to Austin. Not really very close to Austin, <clears throat> but it pretty much is. Yeah, it's close to San Antonio. And Whoa. There. So now you know. That was two big clouds. <laughs> There's another one south of uh -oh. you. And then we're supposed to be, uh, 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 uh. And Texas is called Lone Star State. And why is that? Because we got one star on our flag. The Lone Star State, Texas. So now you know a little bit about Texas and how we got our name. And thank you, everybody. I better get going before another cloud comes in. Don't forget to tell your friends and family to subscribe to Minnesota and Oregon. Yeehaw! Have a good day. Bye. Woo. It's covering my, almost covering my head. That's where my hat's going to be right there. Big, tall, 10 gallon hat. So, bye, y'all.